Punto back with the first team. Um, I, I imagine that at Forest Green, it, was it a little bit surprising to, to, to get on just because of what happened to Lewis and then all of a sudden you, you're asked to get yourself on there? Yeah, I didn't expect to get on anymore. Um, I think we, we made a mistake a couple of minutes beforehand where they turned around and said, get ready. And I was like, well, we've made three stoppages. I can't get on. And then Cass went down shortly after. So, um, yeah, that was a good thing. It was. It's. It's good that he's. Um, he's okay now, and uh, it worked out. When you go back into a game like that, though, probably when you're not expecting it, what's your kind of mindset when you come back on? Particularly when you've been out for quite a bit and and you've not played first team for a while. Not a special mindset. You're just happy to come back on, and you think like, well, could we turn this around? I feel like that at that moment we were already like pressing them very much, and there was something there. So um, I just thought, let's just get the ball down and play to the right colour. What's the lads been like with you while you've been out? Because I imagine no footballer wants to sit in a treatment room, do they? But is it a matter of they've, they've helped you stay part of the group in that time, so you've, you've not felt like you've been, you've been out of the way? I think that's one of the strengths of this, of this club and this team. Like they, They've always check in with you if you're OK, and then they, they keep you involved with everything, and, and that's been the case with me too. How impressed have you been with, you know, even when you've played and when you haven't played, with what the club have done in the first half of the season now? Because, you know, I don't think many people would have expected them to be where they are at this stage. No, we're, we're probably, um, for the outside, like over overachieving, overperforming. And, um, well, we, we've made some, some goals at the start of the season, and I think they were, it was a bit 50 50 if we, we could have achieved that, and uh, there's more and more. Uh, people think in the same way now that we could achieve what we said at the start and um, we're just going to keep on going and, and, and see if we can get there. You were one of the first through the door in the summer so have you seen the squad develop both in, in numbers but also you know in, in, in terms of how they've gelled together in that time? Uh, yeah and, and you can you can see the strength like we, we rotate a lot and um, like the the games at the start in August where I played, I, I feel like there's a completely different team out there now that's that's being rotated and that's another strength of us, yeah. That's, that strength in numbers though is a bit of a double-edged sword because I suppose you can't guarantee playing every week but the manager's always said he's bought players who, who've accepted that they've got to be part of a squad so is that something you just have to take on board? Well, it's easier to take on board if you're like three points off the top six. If you're bottom of the table, you won't, you just want to get in and you think like, oh, I'm better than him. But if, if you're doing well as a team, like that also makes you look better even if you're not playing. There's a bit of an irony that you got injured at Peterborough and you know we're coming up to, to Peterborough again and you may well be, be back involved in that. So do, when that passage of time goes by as a player, do, is that something that ever enters your head? Do you know, just think to yourself, well, it's you know the last corresponding fixture when I got I got injured. So not really. I, I it's been a long time, but to me, it didn't really feel like a long time. Like I've I've barely had days off. I've just been working in and out, so I've been too tired to be even like think like oh it's it's been so long and um, yeah I think that's also the thing that I've, I've just been enjoying myself here so then you know, like time flies if, if you're having fun right and um, with the competition that's in there Tom Pett, Tom Conlon, Ben Garrity uh, what what's the kind of I don't know what's in your head when you think to yourself well I've got to try and get ahead of them now to to get my place back in the team because they've they've done well in your absence <coughs> Not really. Um, I'm, like my mindset is just like if I train and do well, then then I'm the best. So that, that's that's just how I go into it. You've done well against the if you like the bigger teams in the divisions, you know, and you, you've taken a couple of scalps with Charlton, Derby, those type of players. So when you play a Peterborough that's that's got aspirations of going up, does that kind of give you a bit of heart and a bit of an idea that yes, you can go and perhaps hurt the bigger teams in the division? Yeah, that's that's something that's been said after every top six team we've played that well. They, we've made it difficult for all of them so why can't we be one of those teams and just um, make, make other teams look at us like oh that's one of the big teams and, and that's a hard team to play against. Do you think you've got a, 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 dr a drive and a desire within the squad though to go even further than where you are at the moment and try and you know challenge for that top six come the end Yeah the that's that's definitely there and as I said it's 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 there because we're that close to it and we, we've played the top six, top six teams and the top teams so we know we can make it difficult, so why can't we be in there? Thank you. Obviously, you're Peterborough, of course, yo-yo team in many, many ways, but they want to get back to where they were originally. But <coughs> they fell off the pace a bit, haven't they, so far this season? Mm -hmm. Started very well, but they fell off the pace. New manage management bounce, although he's been there before, so probably know what to expect from Dallin Ferguson's team, won't you? Um, no, but 
we we see or we the staff sees every opponent as a process so they they do their work and they prepare for it and we just uh train it on it the whole week and then just um see what we get out of it on the weekend how important is that the staff and the coaches prepare you for a game like that even if you don't know the opposition their research is top drawer isn't it uh, very important because um, we're a hard-working team. We're probably not the, the best footballing team. So if you are very good on the ball and, and, and have 80% position, then you can go out from your own strength. But we're a defending team more um, based on our hard work. So it is important that we know what they do on the ball and how we can hurt them. And that's shown in games, isn't it, really? Because you've gone more than the 90 minutes, 110 minutes of time. That's important, isn't it? Yeah, and that's that's credit to the staff and to the players. Like um, First of all, it starts with the staff doing their work um, throughout the week and, and, and way before that, like looking into them and also keeping the players fit and, and, the, and the players being open to it, to putting like the meters in and the hard work and also sitting down for those meetings.